You know, when they drill into the ground, sometimes they hit oil. The oil's under incredible pressure in some places, up to 20,000 pounds per square inch. It'll come squirting up out of the ground, like a big zip. 20,000 PSI. Well, the guys who study the rocks on top of the oil say, you know, it just can't handle that pressure for more than about 10,000 years. I know the weight of rock supplies pressure, but the, the pressure in the well is greater than the weight of overburden. They say it should have cracked the rock and leaked off in, in less than 10,000 years. Okay, well then I, now I've got two questions. Where did the oil come from? And why is it still under pressure? Hmm. Well, most scientists agree that oil comes from organisms that are squished. They're changed by heat and pressure into oil. They learned in 1971 how to make oil in 20 minutes in the laboratory. In Australia, they've got a treatment plant that takes sewage sludge and turns it into oil in 30 minutes. There's a factory in Turkey that just opened up, a factory in Texas that makes turkey guts and takes, pressurizes them and heats them and turns them into oil. They said in the article, we duplicated what Mother Nature does, but what Mother Nature took millions of years to do, we do in about 30 minutes. Sinclair has the dinosaur as their logo. They say dinosaurs turned to oil. Yes, boys and girls, they mellowed for 80 million years. I don't think so. I have a theory about the oil. Now, here's my theory, okay? I believe about 6,000 years ago, God created everything. 4,400 years ago, there was a flood, okay? In that flood, lots of critters and people drowned. They got buried by the gravel and the rocks and the mud and the sand, and it got pretty heavy after a while, and it squished them into oil. So the oil is down there today from the people and animals that drowned in that flood, which means if you stop and think about that, you drove over here tonight. <clears throat> on some of your ancestors. Well, Noah's uncles anyway. Next time you're at the gas station, pumping them in there, you can say, bye, Grandpa. You should have listened to Noah. <laughs> he told you it's going to rain. 